it's also good to talk to you, Chris, because you are a Canadian from Montreal who then moved offshore, who moved to Britain, <coughs> who moved to the yeah. States. So you have a unique perspective for me. You retain your Canadian citizenship. What does that mean for you? Your Canadian citizenship? Yeah. I don't quite know. Uh, I, I, I really don't know because Canadians are the strange. We're very lucky in some ways that we take advantage of it because we have been influenced so heavily by two great powers all our lives, Britain and America, that if, we, if we're, we're very careful and if we're good at it, we can, as artists, that's, which is all I can speak about, uh, we can use the best qualities of both races in our work, um, style-wise or behavior-wise or whatever. Um, and because we are sort of chameleons, we don't know quite what we are. I think that's always been the case, particularly on the English side. I think it was, I think the French Canadian really formed his persona its personality a long time ago. And, <laughs> and even if they were a little confused about it then, it's certainly absolutely mm -hmm. an identity that is the strongest in Canada, except for the Indian. Um, but we're still, we're getting better. I think we're more confident, but we're still, we're still floundering for our identity. Uh, I think prob probably because there's so few of us. There are only 26 of us living in this country. Isn't that true? 26 real Canadians? I don't know. How do you mean? <laughs> it's a tiny population in a huge country. Right. Wasn't it Mordecai Richler who said, <coughs> we all moved down to the 49th parallel and stayed there. We didn't go anywhere else. We didn't move uptown, or there was no uptown to move. It's such James Bay, and that's it, baby. So that's why I think there's so many good comics that have come out of Canada. Because unless you have a sense of humor and you live in Canada, you're dead. But I think, I think it inspires humor and satire. Um, Stephen Leacock bundled over here at the age of six. But once he hit Canada, he knew where his barbs were going to be aimed at. And he, and he probably gave us our first real Canadian, honest to God, Canadian humor. And we have sent a lot of comics to the States. I mean, the Jim Carreys and the... Jim Carreys and the... I mean, look at them. Yeah. Martin Short, look at them. Martin Short is wonderful. Yeah. They're, they're, they're just wonderful. The SCTV crowd. <coughs> and they have an irony that the American comics don't have. The irony of being Canadian is, 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 is very ironic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the irony is very ironic. How about that phrase? Um, no, I think that's, that is our valuable gift to comics, so great.